did you see who made the WNBA final all about herself? Uh-oh. No, I didn't. Angel Reese showed up wearing a double Minnesota Lynx Liberty jersey. She's posing with people after the game. Oh, yeah. I thought you were... And then she said, I, I don't know... She said, I wanted to help attendance. I know how I, like, elevate the lead. Angel Reese has found herself back in the spotlight, though not for her encore performance. During a recent appearance in New York, her bold outfit and look-at-me energy took center stage. It seems her true talent lies more in courting attention than promoting the game. Barstool Sports CEO Dave Portnoy did mince words, calling her behavior classless and suggesting it's not the kind of attention that the NBA needs. While Reese asserts she's supporting the league, her public appearances often highlight her image rather than the sport itself. The reason why we watch in women's basketball is not just because of one person, it's because of me too and I want y'all to realize. Compared to Caitlin Clark, the difference is clear. Clark is committed to improving her game and supporting her community, while Reese seems more focused on staying in the spotlight. This may explain why Portnoy and many fans are frustrated with Reese's behavior. Don't forget to subscribe and let's dive in. Where women's basketball is. People are talking about women's basketball, but you never would think that we'd be talking about women's basketball. People are pulling up to games. We got celebrities coming to games. Sold out. Angel Reese is active on various media platforms, claiming to promote women's basketball, yet her appearances often focus more on her own image. Whether on podcasts, in magazines, or at red carpet events, conversations tend to circle back to her brand. While self-promotion is common in sports, fans feel Reese's approach might overshadow her mission to uplift the Dalia NBA. Some view it as a tactic to stay relevant, especially since her on-court impact hasn't matched that of players like Caitlin Clark, who lets her game speak for itself. Ironically, Reese's quest for attention may shift focus away from other talents within the Dalia NBA, making her efforts feel more solo than collaborative. In the end, while she aims to support the league, her approach may unintentionally hinder its growth. Imagine if your first round draft pick had the season she had, the controversy she had, got injured in a questionable injury, asked out, and then started a podcast gossiping about everything in the league as a rookie? Please. Yeah. Meanwhile, yeah. Caitlin's head down, just ready to don't, go. Don't, yeah. even, don't you don't hear a peep from her. She cares about on the so I you got me wow. Why is Angel Reese so focused on herself? It could stem from a need for attention or be a calculated effort to remain in the spotlight. If promoting women's basketball is truly her goal, it's puzzling that so many of her appearances feel more like personal showcases than genuine support for the sport. Fans and commentators are beginning to question whether her approach is actually harming the league. In a sport built on teamwork, Reese's self-centered style may alienate fans who value substance over spectacle. Her image often leans more toward individual fame than fostering unity which should ultimately undermine efforts to elevate the league. In the league and you're wearing two other teams, like, aren't you Listen, supposed to be mad you're not in the final? It, it, supposed um, to drive Angel Reese's recent bold outfit turned heads, seeming more about being noticed than blending in. While this might work in entertainment, it didn't resonate with many Dodi NBA fans and critics who felt it didn't help promote the league. Her focus on the spotlight has sparked ongoing conversations about whether she's more interested in attention than truly supporting women's basketball. This controversy deepened when she spent time with former coach Teresa Weatherspoon, who was recently let go amid player favoritism and coaching concerns. What? 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 Walking the city? What? <laughs> this show city. Talk to me. Talk, Talk to, to me. me. <laughs> Weatherspoon's downfall, linked to accusations of prioritizing certain players over the team, sent shockwaves through the league. Angel Reese's association with her struck many fans as an endorsement of this controversial style. This move especially raised eyebrows since Reese, too has faced criticism for appearing to prioritize her personal stats over team play. Connecting with Weatherspoon at such a pivotal time seemed out of touch with ongoing conversations about professionalism and teamwork in the Delhi NBA. League sources, Weatherspoon had lost the locker room because of a culture that catered to the needs of a few players. Dear Lord. Critics, including Dave Portnoy, quickly responded to Reese's latest appearance. Known for calling out what he views as classless behavior, Portnoy remarked that the event felt more like Reese's personal fashion show than a genuine show of support for the league. For Reese, every public outing appears to be another chance to promote herself. Portnoy's sharp commentary reflects a growing belief that she is more concerned with her image than with the welfare of the Dalby NBA. If you're enjoying this video, please like, subscribe, and turn on notifications. We'd appreciate you watching, and now, let's get back to the action.
After a straight loss, she put up, I think, 19 rebounds, 17 points. Forget that Camila Cardosa, the other rookie on that team, had a better stat line, scored more points, shot 60%, and Angel shot 30%, which is, like, good for her. Forget that. Angel Reese, generational rebounder, possibly. Very good rebounder. Motor. Can't shoot a lick. One of the worst shooters in the league. Like, 30% from a foot out. It's disgusting. Doesn't pass. Doesn't do anything. One step. She's a great rebound. Doesn't make her... Dave Portnoy's critiques of Angel Reese's appearance at the WNBA Finals reflect his ongoing commentary. He sees her lack of professionalism as disrespectful to the sport, suggesting that her clothing and attitude prioritized attention over supporting the league. This isn't Portnoy's first criticism of Reese. He has previously called her out for being self-centered and using every opportunity, including social media, to promote herself. In a time when athletes are vocal about personal brands, Portnoy stands firmly against players he believes overshadow team success, arguing that Reese's behavior contradicts the values LNBA players should represent. He's a rookie in the league whose team sucked, who asked out at the end of the season with an injury, who won't shut up about herself, who ran their best player out of town. The coach got fired and she started a podcast five seconds into the thing, creating all this controversy, showing up. As a rookie on a struggling team who ended the season with an injury, she seems to prioritize her own image above all else. She pushed out the best player and played a role in the coach's firing. Now, with the launch of her podcast, she stirred up even more controversy. Can't shoot a lick. One of the worst shooters in the league. Like 30% from a foot out. It's disgusting. Doesn't pass. Doesn't do anything. One step. She's a great rebound, doesn't make her team better. Portnoy has argued that if Angel Reese were in the NBA, her self-promotion wouldn't be tolerated. He believes men's leagues enforce stricter respect for teammates and coaches, and he claims that Reese's antics damage her image and alienate fans who value players that prioritize the game. This conflict between Portnoy and Reese highlights a broader discussion about how athletes handle fame. While he acknowledges her role in bringing media attention to women's sports, he feels she focuses more on her personal brand than on contributing to the WNBA. As long as she remains in the spotlight, he is ready to critique her self-serving behavior. Portnoy also contrasts Reese with Caitlin Clark, noting that Clark dedicates her energy to improving her game and supporting her team, while he views Reese as someone who seeks attention. For fans who appreciate humility and focus, Portnoy's criticisms reveal a clear difference in how these two athletes approach their fame. It makes me smile in return. Like, for me, I'm just myself. Um, that's what I try to be. I try to just be a great role model for them. And I think it speaks to how I was raised as a kid is, you know, I've loved every second of playing sports, but also my parents always preach there's so much more to life than just sports. The contrast between Angel Reese and Caitlin Clark is significant. While Reese grabs headlines for her fashion, high-profile friendships, and media appearances, Clark focuses on improving her game and making an impact on the court. Clark's off-season has been spent training, connecting with loved ones, and participating in community events, efforts that resonate with fans and highlight her dedication. She has broken records by allowing her performance to speak for itself, earning her respect as an inspiration to fans of all ages. In contrast, Reese relies on her bold personality to attract media attention. Clark's charisma comes from her quiet determination, which many find refreshing in a world of self-promotion. She often spends time after games engaging with fans, signing autographs, and taking photos. Additionally, Clark has led various community initiatives, showcasing her commitment to giving back and endearing herself to supporters. Not everybody is Michael Jordan. Not everyone is Steph Curry. Some people are Andre Drummond. Some people are a poor man's Dennis Rodman. Some people are Rudy Gobert. But you don't hear Rudy Gobert up for league MVP or talked about in the same breath as the great player. Caitlin Clark's grounded approach to fame contrasts sharply with Angel Reese, who seems focused on building her personal brand. While Reese often attracts controversy, Clark fosters camaraderie and inspires admiration among fans. Clark's story is rooted in growth, hard work, and a genuine love for basketball, while Reese emphasizes her media persona. As Reese seeks attention, Clark elevates her game and the WNBA, quickly becoming the face of a league that values talent over drama. With each record-breaking three-pointer and her engagement in the community, Clark cements her role as not just the future of the WNBA, but also a global ambassador for women's basketball. The difference is clear. 
while Rees draws attention to herself. Clark highlights the sport itself. And look, as an organization, we just you know felt it was time to make a change. There's just uh, private issues that I think we will keep with Justin Skylock. Dave Portnoy's recent criticisms of Angel Reese are part of an ongoing series of confrontations. Over the past year, he has frequently called out what he perceives as Reese's self-centered attitude, particularly during her rivalry with Caitlin Clark. Her notorious you-can't-see-me gesture aimed at Clark ignited widespread commentary, and Portnoy was quick to respond, arguing that her taunting was more about seeking attention and celebrating a team victory, even at the expense of sportsmanship. Portnoy has consistently contrasted Reese's play style and demeanor with Clark's humble approach. He criticizes Reese for what he views as stat padding, suggesting that her contributions often prioritize individual achievements over team success. According to Portnoy, Reese's numbers tend to serve her self-interest, potentially undermining team cohesion. This was underscored by her coach's firing, which was allegedly due to favoritism towards certain players, highlighting the consequences of Reese's focus on herself. Imagine if your first-round draft pick had the season she had, the controversy she had, got injured in a questionable injury, asked out, and then started a podcast gossiping about everything in the league as a rookie? Please. Yeah. Meanwhile, yeah. Caitlin's head down, just ready to don't, go. Don't yeah. even, don't, you don't hear a peep from her. She cares about on the... So, I, you got me wild. Every night, we sensed a need for change as an organization. While we'll keep some private issues to ourselves, the contrast between Angel Reese and Caitlin Clark is evident. Reese often attracts attention for off-court controversies, while Clark is genuinely advancing the WNBA. Her work ethic, community involvement, and love for basketball position her as the league's future. Caitlin Clark's rise has shattered records and reshaped women's basketball. Her influence goes beyond the court, inspiring a new generation of players and fans. As she heads into her second season with the Indiana Fever, the WNBA's future looks bright. Clark's ability to engage audiences promises to elevate the league, while doubts remain about Angel Reese's commitment to the sport. Do you agree? Let us know in the comments. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you never miss out. Click the video on the screen, and we'll see you in the next one.